Hey everyone, welcome back to another pink edition of Wine Wednesdays. I'm really excited to talk about this wine. I have yet to try it though, but I've heard nothing but good things. So today we're having Pink Twisted from Flat Rock Cellars. Though easy to say it is a rosé, it actually is not a rosé. So this wine is a mix of Pinot Noir, uh, Gamay, Riesling, and Gewürztraminer um, grapes. I have a really hard time saying Gewürztraminer. It's as good as it's gonna get. I used to say Gewürztraminer. <laughs> so, <laughs> not actually a rosé. It's done very differently than other pink wines. So I'm super excited. I'm very excited. So in honor of pink wine, another pink glass, obviously. I'm not doing another food pairing this week either. Um, yeah, so sorry. Seafood, I hardly have that much seafood with me and it was chicken kebabs. Kebabs are on my menu for next week. So, so sorry. Ooh, that was a nice little pop. Do you hear that? Okay, it's a beautiful color. Maybe I should have used a clear glass to show you the color, but you can see it at the bottom. I'm gonna pour it first. Ooh, look at that. And then I'll read you the back. Um, for those who don't know though, Flat Rock Cellar is actually in Jordan. So it's in the Niagara region, um, not in Niagara Lake. So it's right on the escarpment, hence the name Flat Rock Cellars. <laughs> okay, let's read the back. At Flat Rock Cellars, we believe we should work with what the vineyard gives us and not try to force our wines to conform. Why should they if we don't? In 2014 and 2015, the fruit was very flavorful, but there wasn't a lot of it. So we opted to make our own rosé, a tasty and expressive blend with a twist. After all, we are just a little twisted around here. And ta-da, pink twisted. This new twisted was popular. We decided that it was a keeper. Cheers. That's fun. So this is 11%. I've heard it's on the dry side. A lot of people think that rosés are sweet. That's not the case. I find more white wines to be sweeter. Um, maybe a lower percentage rosé could be sweeter, but I find white wines to be sweeter than rosé. Ooh. Can't my nose on the smell. Probably because there's so many grapes in it. I'm not getting much on the nose quite yet. That's a mouthful. Okay. Whoa, it's sweet and bitter I find at the same time. I guess it's just the way that the red and the white grapes are hitting each other. That's so different. Definitely dry. The smell, there's not much smell to it. Not much I'm getting on the nose. Smells like grapes. <laughs> That's all I got. Let's see if that changes it. It's, it's very interesting. I can definitely tell that there's red and white grapes in it. The way that they mix together. It's so cool. Mm. I wish I knew more about how to explain what I'm tasting. But it's hard because it's so different from everybody, right? Because what I had 20 minutes ago in my mouth could definitely change the flavor on here and it can make it alter to what you're having as well. 
So no two wines are really gonna be the same for someone. That's why sometimes someone I, I might have hated a wine I had a couple weeks ago and then someone else loves it, right? So it all depends on how your body reacts to it and the different taste buds and flavor notes you already have. It's just a really nice blend of the acidity in it as well. Uh, I'm at a loss. It's really yummy. It's very different. I really like it. If you're looking for something to try and you see this at the LCBO, it's probably not at all of them, um, but I think it's about $18 for this bottle. It's a very popular one. It doesn't say anything else on it. Has sulfites. <laughs> but that's Pink Twisted. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next Wednesday.